What's going on YouTube? Rich here with another video. If you guys are new to the channel, I do appreciate you guys for stopping by and I hope you guys all find this video really insightful. It's something I have been wanting to share with you guys for quite some time. It's something I've done a lot of research on. And yeah, I'm just excited to share it with you guys. As you guys can all read from the title, this video is gonna be about a food intolerance test that I'm going to be taking. Um, I'm gonna be basically showing you guys the incomplete uh, journey and this just being the first video basically talking about the kit that I decided to go with what a food intolerance test is and then also kind of just how it works and then I will also be doing a part two of the video um, once I get my results back from this test and then you know starting to implement some of the changes based off of the data that I receive and determining how it affects my body and my health. So I guess I should start from the beginning, guys. Uh, if, for those of you guys that don't know what a food intolerance test is, if you're like me, you're just kind of researching a bunch of different things based off of ways that you guys are kind of feeling right now, a food intolerance test is similar to a food allergy test, but this is something that you could do at home. And it's not going to, it's not gonna test against the same antibodies as an allergy test. Um, difference between an intolerance and, a, and an allergy um, allergies are something that definitely like impairs your day-to-day -day life. People who are lactose intolerant or allergic to peanuts, which is kind of funny because that's something I definitely already know I do have an intolerance towards. So it may be borderline allergy intolerance, but I guess we're gonna find out if the test also does can kind of conclude the same things as like that I already know. I started researching food intolerance tests a few months ago because of an oral allergy that I've been facing for quite some time. Some really common intolerance reactions are joint pain, bloatedness, um, fatigueness, um, there's oral intolerances, also like chronic headaches. There's so many different ones that you guys will have to definitely research on. So for today's video, I went with this kit. It's from a brand called Five Strand Affordable Testing. There are a few different ones on the market, but this was one that I thought that I would enjoy just because of the price point and then also like I knew I wanted to share this with you guys I mean there's tests that range from like $50 all the way up to like I believe it's like $700 so they do get kind of outrageous but I think for the most part they all kind of do something similar there's some that are blood tests where you kind of prick your finger but this one's actually a hair strand um, so I am kind of excited about that because I definitely don't like pricking my fingers for any any reason that I don't have to. So this particular test, I did go with their deluxe package. They have like a few different ones, but this one not only tests against food intolerances, I believe it's like 600 different foods. Um, it does also test against environmental intolerances and also mineral intolerances, and which includes like vitamins, like zinc and different things like that. Something like food intolerance can take forever if you try to do it manually. Um, you can kind of like start to X out different foods that you eat and I am pretty picky so my palate is a little bit um, narrow compared to probably a lot of your guys' diets. But with that being said, I don't wanna have to go through and like test every single different food. Let's go ahead and crack this package open um, and take a look inside, see what there is. I know I did reach out to the brand itself and uh, you know, I had a lot of questions. So um, they said that all the instructions were right inside of this box. So whenever I open it up, we're just gonna take a look at it and yeah, get right into it. So right off the gate, um, I ruined the box. So it was sealed pretty tight and I didn't know that I can open it from the side. So that was definitely a flaw on my end. I should have been a little bit more patient, but I got excited. All of the rules are right on here. It says I can register my kit online. Basically, I can collect my sample. Um, it does require 10 to 15 strands of head hair or any other body hair at least one inch in length. So that's gonna be a little bit of a challenge um, just because I do get a pretty short haircut. Um, oh, it does say if your hair is shorter than one inch, uh, please provide 20 to 25 strands. Probably gonna need Jess's help. And then there's also this little like syllable bag that I guess I'm gonna put all of the strands in there. And then it does, what's really cool is it actually comes with a pre um, filled out mailing slip. So I get to just throw it on there, slap the little sticker on there and then it's ready to rock and roll. As soon as I get the results, I'll probably turn the camera back on and get right back into this video. So I appreciate you guys sticking to the video this long and yeah, I'll be back. Welcome back to the second part of this video. I'm super excited to film this part. It has taken me a little while just because of the holidays and actually really big news, Jess, myself and Zyra, um, we actually got a new place. So I'm super excited about that. We were just like moving during the holidays. It was super hectic with like work just being a parent and yeah so here we are guys new year 
I'm super excited about it. I'm just absolutely loving the space. And it was something that I really wanted to get into into the new year, um, just to be able to further progress my creativity and Jess's creativity as well. And you know, we we're just growing. So super excited about that guys, but let's jump right into this. Just a little goof on my end. I actually forgot to register my kit when I sent back in my strands of hair. So the team actually reached out to me and they were like, hey, can you just make sure to register it because we have your sample arrived and they just couldn't process it until my kit was registered. So uh, just FYI, if you guys are trying this, make sure you guys register your kit as soon as you guys send your strands back, um, just so it's a really seamless process. Overall, I would say it took about six days um, before the team reached out to me, given uh, give or take a few days just because it was holidays. And then as soon as I registered my kit, it was like next day, um, I received this email where it was really cool. It had like a full breakdown like of next steps. Um, and then also it gave me instructions to download their app, which the app is super cool. It actually, um, your test results will show up inside of the app. And then also there's like FAQs, tutorials, and then links to some of their other socials. They do have a really cool YouTube channel that has a bunch of different really insightful videos just for anybody that's kind of embarking on this journey. Let me just tell you guys a little bit about my results. I was super shocked. I think when I seen the results, I was a little taken back by it just because I was like, I was super overwhelmed. Um, again, everything is scaled in a basically a zero to three, three being not good, something that your body is just not reacting to properly. So. When I start, when I, as soon as I opened up the PDF, it was insane because I was just seeing a bunch of twos and threes. It was like red and yellows. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, and it's like six pages. I think part of the reason why I was a little overwhelmed was because there were things on the list that have like these crazy, crazy names to. And whoever uh, created those names, I don't know. I don't know where they got them from, but there was a lot of them. Um, and, but then as I was going through it, um, I was going through it originally on my phone, which was a super bad idea. So just an FYI, make sure you guys have some time to view it on like an actual computer or TV. I don't know, whatever you guys prefer. But um, I went back and looked at it on the computer and it was a little less daunting just because on the phone, it's like a million pages of just like just crazy names and just different foods that you probably recognize and probably love. After I sat down with Jess, we kind of like looked through it all and we the really the thing that I think really helped me through the process was that the team in the initial um, like what to do next email it's really cool because they, they tell you in advance it could be very overwhelming but the goal is to focus on what you can consume and not what you know not the twos and the threes and things that you can't consume because you know it's it's like the glass half full versus the glass in half empty just go into that with an open mind for sure um, but yeah, there were so, so many things that I know I consume on a daily basis. There's like tomatoes. Um, there were a few different peanuts on there that I already knew that I had some kind of reaction to. Things like salt, pepper, that my body just has insensitivities. And just to go into a little bit more in depth, because I know I didn't do this in the first half of the video, um, but some of the things that I've been battling were like, I was getting headaches. I have a really bad like oral insensitivity to a couple different foods I know that are kind of in my you know weekly consumption rotation. Also, I was feeling a lot of bloatedness. I know I had been gaining some you know additional weight that I haven't been used to. I think for me, like just going into the new year and being a dad, like I was like, you know what? I wanna get back in tip top shape. So I've been running, eating better, um, smaller portions, just making a lot more conscious decisions in my life. This just it was an added bonus. And this is just gonna, again, be the next step to my journey of just healthy living. Back to it, I mean, there were different trees that I know that I've been exposed to, different vitamins. There were definitely some vitamins in my medicine cabinet that I do take on a regular basis that I did have an insensitivity to. So really, I think overall, I know there's a few different tests and just depending on your financial, um, you, you know, your financial situation, I would recommend really going for the deluxe kit just so you can cover all bases. How overwhelming it looks, but you know, I'm definitely going into this year like with a super positive mindset. And I think, again, there's gonna be some like part two and part three and part four of this journey of this sensitivity test for me personally and just kind of uh, tracking the, the process and the journey for myself, but and it's just something cool to be able to reflect on. But I'm hoping that it can be something that I can share with you guys, and then you know, hopefully, 
it gets you guys over the edge of trying this and just bettering your guys' lives. In addition to that, I went ahead and reached out to the team to see if I can become an affiliate for Five Strand. Um, so I'm, I went through the application, I'm waiting for a response back, but I am very hopeful in that. And if by the time this video goes live, I'm hoping that, I, that I've already been approved. So there should be a link down in the description below that maybe we'll have some kind of cool discount. If any of you guys follow me on Instagram, I created a link in bio, which is just something that I want to do a lot in 2021. Uh, basically, I'm going to be partnering with a bunch of different brands that I have I would say that I stand behind and have full faith in, and I think, again, it's just things that I want you guys to be exposed to, and um, again, hopefully it can help you guys and save you guys some money in the long run. So check down in the description below, use the link if there is one in there. If not, it is five strands testing, um, and you guys can just Google that. Even if you guys don't spell it right, it should populate because it's super high on the Google rankings. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helps you guys. I hope it kind of gives you guys a little bit of insight and just look forward to some part two and part three of this segment. And again, guys, just go out, achieve your goals, um, set them realistic, but set them high and just crank away at them every single day and you guys will be just fine. Peace.